morning. <laughs> so good morning, welcome back to day two. We're back off today, we've already packed up. I've just now got to try and get all the stuff back on my bike and it doesn't look like I've packed it up as small as it was when I came, so that's going to be a challenge. We're off in the Salisbury direction, but we're going to cycle through Savanac Forest first. We're going to find ourselves a cup of coffee and we've got to pay for the campsite, which was £8 for the night each. But that's because it's high season, normally it'd only be £6 a night, so I highly recommend coming here if you're backpacking, because they've got a great rate. Nice peaceful night's sleep once the concert in uh, Marlborough stopped last night. But yeah, beautiful place to stay. We've had a great night, great day yesterday. Hoping some more of the same today. I've just got to somehow get all that back on my bike. And Pete's nearly done his. <laughs> Second. Well, I kept Pete waiting long enough, but I finally got there. He's over there catching some sun rays. All right, let's go pay. All right, he hasn't said nothing yet, but we've gone straight into gravel <laughs> right off the bat. But he looks keen to keep going. This morning I was so clear a light as any to see the horizon and the far. Excuses were two for a penny, but they've all gone out the window of this car. And when I feel the wind on my face, all that ever was is a rest. All right, so just like that, we're straight into the forest, through Savannah Forest down the Grand Avenue. It's about 4.2k of gravel. He hasn't said nothing. I'm sure he will comment in a minute. And uh, hopefully we'll look for somewhere for some breakfast and some coffee, because I've not had coffee since about 11 o'clock yesterday, and that's probably got to be a record. Gravel, Pete? Good. He gets the seal of approval. So far, yeah. <laughs> No. So this is actually the uh, Grand Avenue straight through the centre of Savannah Forest. It is a very, very straight road. I say 4.2 kilometres, it said on commute. May not be suitable for your tour. <laughs> uh, it's a little bit um, squishy in places, the gravel, but if you find the right track, you're okay. Pete's flying along. He's way down in the distance. I've not had any caffeine to get me alert. So that's uh, number one on the menu. But this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And now I just need to put the camera away. I think Pete's on the right side of the bloody road here, you know. If I can get over there. <laughs> no, no, not there. Not there. There. Yes, right. Well, that's rocks. Yeah, this is both beautiful and terrifying, Pete. <laughs> you haven't got 25 mil tyres. Uh, I got 30 mil tyres, and uh, it's a bit squishy in the gravel in places, but beautiful. That was the first hint of the expected tailwind coming out of that climb then. Yeah, it's easier than yesterday. What the hell is that, by the way? What? That. That? Yeah, I mean, you can see it. I mean, I'm not imagining it. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, that's sun cream. I know what that is. I don't know what that is. <laughs> So after 24 hours, I finally got my caffeine fix. Might not have been the best coffee in the world, but an Americano out of a custom machine is not too bad. So I'm fueled. We've had a little bit of a picnic on the wall by the Tesco Express. Not very glamorous, but we're straight back out into the countryside. And how beautiful is this? Literally straight about two minutes from the town of Ludgersall. But yeah, some epic roads already today. We've seen a parachute drop from that bomber. Yeah, just, just having a great day. We barely got going. Oh, 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 oh. Although the road surface can be better. <laughs> so we've just come across a road closure past the Thruxton circuit. So we've got to make a bit of a diversion, but we're, um, we're able to spectate the race from here. <laughs> They're not really close together, are they? <laughs> No, he doesn't look very quick at all, does he? Perhaps he's last. Here's the front. No, uh, they've slowed up there, haven't they? They don't seem to be going as fast as they were a minute ago. Oh, that guy's clapping. I think they've finished. Oh, it's at the end of the race. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> we got it just in time then. So on the plus side, if we hadn't been diverted, we might not have seen that. But there we go. Onward. Right, so we just had a quick stop for a cold drink and an ice cream at Cholderton Farm Shop. We've got 100k left to go of this beautiful scenery. And I'm in the wrong gear again. <laughs> yeah. Well, we probably have. We did nearly 100 yesterday. 46 today. So that makes, yeah, over 100. <laughs> Quick maths. Right, in my defence, I didn't know the 303 was on the route. I didn't check it properly enough. For that, I take full blame. But I'm not ruling out the possibility I did it for a tile. So, uh, sorry, Pete. Did you enjoy that? Hiya. I was uh, scared pulling up to the junction of the 303, but it was epic. <laughs> 70k an hour. We were doing oh. 70k an hour on the 303 with bike packing equipment on. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Far more fun than it actually looked when we started it out. I can't say I knew there was a village called Stonehenge, but we've just gone through the village of Stonehenge. We're not far from the actual monument. Pete said, are we going to be able to see the Stonehenge monument? And I've just said, yeah, if we'd have said it on the 303, we've had a great view. <laughs> but no, I don't think we do. Well, if you're going to do a climb, you might as well do an epic one with views like that all around. That was immense, but hard work down the bottom. That was the first time today I felt like I didn't have enough gears with all this weight on the bike. But Pete's Wahoo has been telling him all day, it's how many of 16 climbs we've got. And every time we go up a climb, I'm saying, please tell me that's one of the 16. And he goes, no. Then we went up a little ramp just a minute ago and says, well, that was one of the 16. And it was nowhere near as worse as some of the ones we've done. Please tell me though, Pete, that that is nine of 16. Nine of 16. Complete. Nine of 16 complete. 
and we're not quite halfway on the distance. I think we've just crossed over halfway. <laughs> Half that I actually recognised it because I've gone that way. I've gone down it. I've, I ne I've never been up. I, I came out of here with Deb on the tandem. We went down that one and across the railway. Came out of the gravel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Debbie would agree. Not a climb. <laughs> Not a climb. I don't know which way we're going. Right, we've arrived in Tisbury at Beaton's, one of my favourite cafes in this part of the world. But I've got another Wahoo route problem. I don't know whether you can see, but I've actually lost the route. So it's decided to kick me out the route. So I'm gonna to have to reload that. But at this minute in time, I am craving a banana milkshake. So I'm fingers crossed they've got one in there for me. And uh, top up my water bottle. Milkshake, milkshake, milkshake. Oh, I don't know. They're out of chicken. Oh, that's all right. Vegetarian, mate. <laughs> I was gonna be really sad for you because 10 kilometers ago you wanted it oh I had my fingers crossed it's better be as good as it looks happy boy brain freeze <laughs> all right so refreshments done Pete reckon we had a climb straight out of the cafe which we're on we then reckons we haven't got another climb for another 30 kilometers. There's only 59 kilometers back to Glastonbury now, so should be good. I think the overall climbing today was about 1240. Overall descent was about 1420. So about 200 meters less ascent than there is downhill, but oddly, just keeps feeling like we're going uphill. And it's baking, absolutely baking. But that banana milkshake was amazing. Rescue can of coke. I'm, I'm sure there's a there's a bench in the park there, about 100 yards of the way. But because it's going backwards, there's no chance I'm going back. Far, yeah. I'm just going to sit on the floor. So after a quick refreshment stop in Bruton, we're on climb 14 of 16, and we can't really figure out what the other two are. On the way home, my left foot is really hurting. It's a little like cramp in me uh, big toe. But we'll get there. The weather's been beautiful. The route has been beautiful. The company's been great. Ah, oh, what a weekend. Just got to get home now, get off the bike and recover. Who knows what we'll do next. But yeah, not a lot longer to go. Just need to drag my old body up three more climbs. So 144 kilometers on the clock. I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna be glad to get off the bike in a minute. My feet hurt, my hands hurt, all the contact points hurt. Uh, somebody's got a little bit further to go because uh, we had decided to end the route in Glastonbury because we started it in Wells. <laughs> <laughs> <Not fair. laughs> 
<laughs> which isn't fair because today was the longer leg. But anyway, oh, some epic roads today. That that bit of road where you swept past the lake, oh, just so beautiful. Um, there definitely wasn't just 16 climbs. There was more than 16 climbs, but um, we'd have to figure out what categorises the climb and what doesn't, because apparently we've still got one to go. <laughs> and we're here. And there is only literally a, a short little ramp up into Glastonbury from here. But anyway, I have absolutely loved that. Let's not leave it so long this time. Although, Thanks. saying that, I think when we did the Forest of Dean, that was the last decent weather we've had last year, and it's been shocking ever since. And this is... Yeah, long, long may this continue because the weather at the moment has been amazing. What you're saying is the more we do this, the better the weather. Yeah, yeah let's, hope, <laughs> let's, let's hope the weather stays like this so that we can do some more, yeah. Um, learning every time I go. Um, still got to find a few solutions for a few things. Uh, but yeah, it actually wasn't too bad riding two days in the same kit. Slightly weird putting on this morning, but as soon as you've been going five minutes, you don't even notice. He's been moaning about it all day. No, I haven't. <laughs> Two days since I've been wearing these socks. No, I just said I, I can't smell myself, so I, I can't be too bad. No, my, I'm blaming my feet for hurting on wearing two-day-old socks. That's what I'm doing. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. Let us know where you want us to go next. If, if, you want, if we go somewhere, where should we go? Pete says Exmoor. I think you'll kill me in Exmoor with all this baggage. But yeah, we're keen to go. Just give us some suggestions of where you think we should go. But anyway, thank you for watching. We will see you in the next video. It should be next week, hopefully. Weather permitting. <laughs> now I've put the curse on it, it's going to rain, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. Anyway, fingers crossed it stays like this. See you soon. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering, before you make it safely to the end.